polygenic traits most traits they are not controlled by single genes instead they are controlled by multiple genes or they can be controlled by more than two genes if there is a trait which is controlled by more than two genes those traits are called as polygenic traits the best example of the polygenic trait is human height human height is controlled by more than one gene there are many genes which are involved for controlling the height within the humans the second example of the polygenic traits is human height and uh, human eye colors if we see there are different types of the human eye color these eye colors they are controlled by many genes we can see the variation from black up to brown green and blue these are all the colors of the human eyes and this phenotype is called as polygenic traits and this phenotype is controlled by multiple genes another example of the polygenic trait is skin color of the humans skin color of the humans is controlled by at least three genes you a skin color of the humans is also called, considered as a polygenic trait this is the diagram or this is the graph uh, which shows that how there is variation in the height of the humans pigmentation in the humans is controlled by at least three genes conclusions polygenic traits are those traits which are controlled by more than one genes they have the additive effect and simultaneously they control certain traits those traits they are called as polygenic traits means more than one gene is involved in the phenotype of those traits usually the qualitative traits like the height like the human eye color like the skin pigmentation of the humans these traits they are called as qualitative traits and qualitative traits they are controlled by multiple genes and this phenomena is called as polygenic traits or polygenic inheritance